Captain America, the Star Spangled Man versus Wolverine Weapon X. These two have had many interactions and encounters, ranging from comrades to adversaries. On paper, this matchup seems pretty balanced, the super soldier versus the mutant. They have similar attributes and capabilities, even sharing opponents. But in this video, I'll be breaking down each respected character and going over their various encounters and fights throughout the years. And by the end of it, you'll see just how surprisingly one-sided this fight really is. Let's start with Steve Rogers, Captain America. With the super soldier serum running through his veins, he is at the peak of human physical capability. He is strong enough to casually bench over a thousand pounds. He can hold up a collapsing building and pull down helicopters from midair. He can shred through metal and rip apart robots and androids. He's tough enough to get shot in the leg and continue to fight, and he didn't even notice until someone pointed it out to him. Red Skull was slinging him through brick walls, the building collapsed on top of him, and he still got up and continued fighting and didn't even have any broken bones. He was even thrown into an energy reactor and said, he felt like he was on fire, but he still broke through the reactor. This shows the will of Steve Rogers. While even in immense pain, he still finds a way to fight through. Like how he was poisoned and had a needle through his chest, but still broke through his restraints. He's fast enough to dodge lightning and can evade and block gunfire in midair from multiple angles. Multiple men were holding him down and he had a gun to his head, but he broke free before the guy could even pull the trigger. While at gunpoint, he threw his shield and tackled people out the way after the laser was fired. He has incredibly good hearing and says he can even see faster. Steve can adapt instinctively to every situation and every fighting style. He beats someone who had a master of every martial art in the world in hand-to-hand -hand combat. While fighting Kang the Conqueror, Kang had said that Captain America is an astonishing warrior. He has never fought under these conditions before, but already he adapts, mastering the form more completely than many who have trained for decades. Captain America is certainly no pushover, so let's see how Wolverine stacks up. He's strong enough to break through chains, throw around Colossus, and hit the head off a of Sentinel so hard it flies. He can send a kid like Spider-Man crashing into a door from just a backhand. With his claws, he hurt characters like the Hulk, Thor, and Gladiator. He's so fast, he backflipped behind these guys after the gun was fired. Surrounded by five men with guns to his face, he cut all the guns in half before they could even notice what happened. He does this on multiple occasions, once again cutting the guns in half before the soldiers can even notice, with one of them saying, he moves so fast I couldn't track him. He sliced Bishop's hand before he could even press the button on his shoulder. He can even dodge point blank tank fire. His senses are heightened, he can hear things from far away, his sense of smell is unmatched being able to track people, and he can function just fine in pitch black darkness. Pressure points have little to no effect on him, he can get hit by a jet and walk it off, and we all know how good his healing factor is, making him damn near immortal. And in his berserker rage, all restraints come off and he becomes enhanced, making him virtually a killing machine. Even the gods say that Wolverine is warrior so renowned that his name is whispered even in the halls of Olympus. Thor himself has said that Wolverine is one of the most dangerous men Midgard has to offer. After breaking down their capabilities individually, we see that they match up pretty nicely, but let's go over some of their encounters and fights through the years. In Captain America 404, we see that Wolverine is under control and Cap has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Cap comments on how relentless and fast Wolverine is, saying that in his berserker rage, he's virtually unstoppable. He says that he can't afford to hold back, so he puts everything he has into a haymaker, sending Wolverine flying, but we see that he gets right back up. Wolverine seems to get the better of Cap before the fight's interrupted. In Avengers vs. X-Men, Wolverine and Captain America get into it, and Cap is holding his own, but he just can't stop getting slashed by Wolverine, having to be saved by Giant Man. In another occasion in Wolverine Origins, Cap and Wolverine have a back and forth, but it seems like Wolverine, once again, is getting the better of Cap. Throughout their fights, we see a commonality that Cap can certainly keep up with Wolverine, but it gets to a point where Wolverine is just too much for the super soldier. Every strike that Wolverine throws could be fatal, and he's certainly fast enough and skilled enough to do that. His adamantium skeleton makes him really durable, and with his healing factor, he can heal from any damage that that Cap inflicts onto Wolverine. In order to knock Wolverine out, you have to hit his skull hard over and over again. And the chances of that happening are pretty low for Cap, being that he hit him with everything he had and Wolverine got right back up. To put it in summary, Wolverine is going to get Cap long before Cap can get him. 
Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you want more videos like this, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.